Hello everybody. I want to do a video about the Antichrist. Uh, I see all this ridiculous stuff on YouTube and hear these different things from different preachers. So I figured I'd make a video and explain exactly who he is. It's, it's pretty obvious who he is and it's not that hard to figure out. So when we talk about the word Antichrist, first thing we need to figure out is what does the word mean? Well, it's made up of two words. You got anti and Christ. So let's look at the word Christ. Let's, let's figure out what this word means. Uh, so we go to the first chapter of John, verse 41, and it says, He first findeth his own brother, Simon, and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah which is being interpreted the Christ. When you say the word Christ, you are saying Messiah. And it's all, the, the again, you, we, can, we learn this in the fourth chapter of the Gospel of John in verse 25. The woman saith unto him, I know the Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. The word Christ means Messiah. And then, when we're talking about the Messiah in the New Testament, it's always referring to a Jewish Messiah. So when you say the word Jesus Christ, you're actually saying Jesus, the Jewish Messiah. The word Christ isn't Jesus' last name, it's his title. <clears throat> and likewise with Antichrist. When we say Antichrist, we're actually saying anti-Jewish Messiah. That's what the word means. But let's take the word anti. Let's, let's see what the word anti means. Christ means Jewish Messiah, but what does the word anti mean? Well, to learn the word, what the word anti means, you have to get a strong Bible concordance. And you flip to the Greek section, uh, which covers the New Testament, and it tells you what the word anti means. Uh, in, a, in a Greek concordance, in a Strong's Greek Bible Concordance, word number 473, you learn that the word anti, it means substitution. So, when you say Antichrist, you're actually saying substitute Jewish Messiah. That's what you're saying. <clears throat> so, and that's who he is. Uh, when the Jewish rabbis say... Christ is here, the Jewish Messiah is here, he's the substitute. But let's look into this a little more. Let's, let's go to uh, the Gospel of John. Um, okay, chapter... Um, let's go to chapter 5 of the Gospel of John, verse 43, and let's read that. There Christ is speaking... To the Jews, he says, I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye re will receive. So let's read this. I, Christ, I, the Jewish Messiah, have come in my Father's name, and you Jews didn't receive me. If another Jewish Messiah shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. This is the substitute Jewish Messiah. It says, if another. Well, we know that uh, from the first epistle of John, okay, um, chapter 2, verse 18, we read, Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Anti substitute Jewish Messiah shall come. Okay, uh, he's coming, and Christ tells us in the fifth chapter of the Gospel of John, verse 43, that you Jews will receive him. Um, if we flipped, this is again repeated in Matthew and Mark. In the uh, 24th chapter of Mark, okay, verse 23, Matthew 24, verse 23, Christ is speaking, and he says, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, 
believe it not. Remember, Christ means Jewish Messiah. If any man shall say unto you, the Jewish Messiah is here, don't believe it. Why? He's the substitute Jewish Messiah. He is the Antichrist that shall come. This is again repeated in the Gospel of Mark. <clears throat> verse uh, Mark ch chapter 13 verse 21 and then if any man shall say unto you lo here is Christ or lo he is there believe him not again if they say there's the Jewish Messiah don't believe it because he's the substitute he's the Antichrist he is the substitute Jewish Messiah <clears throat> Now, if you have problems with this, it's it, it's not that difficult. You got to realize that the Jew that the that the Jews rejected their Messiah, and according to the epistle, first epistle of John, all right, we can go to um, chapter two, verse twenty-two, and we read, "Who is a liar?" But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. Who is a liar that denieth that Jesus is the Jewish Messiah? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Who denies that Jesus is the is the Christ? Who denies that who denies that Jesus is the uh, Jewish Messiah? The Jews deny it. They're antichrists and liars. Um, again, in the in First Epistle of John, chapter four, verse three, it says, "And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. Every spirit that the every spirit that does not confess that Jesus, the Jewish Messiah, is come in the flesh, is not of God." According to this, the Jews that do not confess that Jesus is the Christ, is the Jewish Messiah, is not of God. The Jews are not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. <clears throat> Again, in the second epistle of John, verse 7, it's only got one chapter, for many deceivers are entered into the world who confesseth not that Jesus Christ, Jesus the Jewish Messiah, is come in the flesh. The Jews are deceivers. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Jews are antichrists. Uh, that's uh, You learn that back in the first epistle of John, verse 18, where it says, Antichrist shall come. It says, even now there are many antichrists. <clears throat> They're antichrist. They have the spirit of antichrist. It, it's the Jews. The Jews have the spirit of, of when you say antichrist, again you're saying substitute Jewish Messiah. So the, the Jews have the spirit of a substitute Jewish Messiah. They're still waiting for him. <clears throat> and according to Christ from the fifth chapter of the gospel of john verse 43 they're going to receive him the the jews will accept the antichrist the substitute jewish messiah as their as their messiah <clears throat> and that's who the antichrist is it is a substitute jewish messiah the antichrist isn't isn't the pope which the pope don't even care doesn't don't even he don't even uh carry the spirit of antichrist the pope's not confessing that jesus hasn't come in the flesh <laughs> that the pope that comes from the the geneva bible back in the 1500s <clears throat> anyway uh it's not the pope it's 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 nobody uh, when the jewish rabbis say their uh messiah is here again messiah means christ when the jews claim that christ is here then you'll know that that's the antichrist <clears throat> so there you have it i hope you've learned something from this thanks for watching